Thank you for selecting the Pulse Feeder Conductivity Cooling Tower Controller for your application. This video is intended to familiarize you with the Microvision controller. Please refer to the detailed information in the installation manual that was provided with your controller and always adhere to all local, state, and national codes. Since configure is highlighted, we can just press the select button to enter this menu. Let's select date time, then set date. To enter the date, use the up down arrows and the right arrow soft button. Hit enter, then OK we're set. Arrow down to set the time. You can change the date format if you want. You can also change the clock format. Once these entries have been made, press the back button, HOA relays. The HOA output menu allows one to set the control for the four output relays. This is useful for servicing your pumps or troubleshooting electrical problems. Press select. Three relays are displayed. To see Bioside B, arrow down. Since Bioside B is highlighted, let's select that relay. The auto mode is the default setting. To test the relay, arrow down to on 5 minutes and select. The Bio B relay will energize for 5 minutes or until you select off. Once you have finished testing, return to the auto mode. Now we will cover the water meter settings. Press the back button and arrow down and select water meter. The first menu selection is meter type. Press select and you'll see both dry contact and hall effect. If you have a dry contact style, press select and then enter the number of gallons per contact using the arrow and soft buttons and press enter. The unit of measure can be changed. We'll cover that later. Select Hall Effect and you'll see the screen to enter your K factor. Press Enter and OK to return to the water meter menu. Arrow down and select units. This screen allows you to change to liters if you wish. Press back and select totalizer. This screen displays the current amount of water the controller has counted. You can reset the totalizer from this menu. Press back and return to the configure menu. Besides English, the Microvision has two other languages. And press the select button, Spanish and Portuguese. Simply use the arrow buttons to highlight your selection. Arrow down and select drum levels. The Microvision has four drum level inputs, one for each pump. To make your selection, highlight it and press enter, and the screen will display a check mark. Note that refilling the drum may cause the pump's relay to energize without warning. The next section in the configure menu is the display dampener. This setting allows you to select how often the actual conductivity reading is updated on the home screen, but it also dampens the controller's response to sudden changes in conductivity. To access the display dampener from the configure screen, find and select it. You can increase the number of seconds using the arrow buttons. The controller takes a conductivity reading every second and this value causes the controller to average the readings, hence slowing down the control functions. The Microvision is normally installed on cooling towers that use a rising set point. However, you can change the set point to falling in the configure menu. From the configure menu, scroll down to rise fall and select it. To change the mode, simply make your selection to check your mode. The contrast of the display can be adjusted. This is also found in the configure menu. Scroll to find contrast and select. Use the up down arrows to adjust the contrast setting. The microvision can be password protected. This feature is found in the configure menu. Scroll down to password and select it. You'll see that zeros are normally displayed. Setting this to anything other than four zeros will enable the password protection. 
the code will be required to access the Configure and Settings menu. To disable the password, return the code to zeros. If you do not know the password, you'll have to call our technical department for help. Please have the controller in front of you when you call. A tool for checking the operation of the microvision in real time is the troubleshoot screen. Find it by scrolling down and selecting it. Displayed is the flow switch status, the four drum level switch statuses, the water meter status, the probes, conductivity, and temperature reading. It also shows the revolving week number and the day of the week used in biocide programming. We'll cover that later. And lastly, the clock seconds. While the screen is displaying information, the controller is still functioning normally, and the relays could energize without warning. The controller software version is found in the configure menu. This information may be required for any possible service issues. Arrow down to software version and select it. The version should now be displayed. The controller can be reset to the factory default values at any time. This can be done through the factory reset screen. Of course, be absolutely certain that this is your desire before performing a reset. The unit will prompt you for a decision whether to proceed or not. If yes, press OK, then enter 9999 using the buttons, then press Enter, and then OK. There is no way to retrieve previous parameters. The unit is now set to factory default values. This video was a brief overview on how to program your microvision. If you have additional questions, please contact your local sales representative, visit our website at pulsatron.com, or call our tech support. 